Now for Mima story time, I'm going to read this cute book. By It's Pinkalicious Tickled Pink. I was in the library looking for a good book. I poked around the shelves until I found something with a bright pink cover and shiny gold letters. The Goofy Book of Gags and Giggles. I read it. I read and I opened it. It was full of hilarious jokes. I started reading and giggling. I bit my lip to try to keep from laughing out loud, but the jokes were too funny. I checked the book out and put it in my backpack until recess. When it was finally time to go outside, I took the book with me. What are you reading, Pinkalicious? Molly asked. A joke book I found, I said. Listen to this. Where do cows go on a first date? Do you know where cows go on a first date? To the movies. <laughs> I think she thinks it's funny. Molly couldn't stop laughing and laughed so hard that Alex and Allison came over to see what was going on. Pinkalicious has a joke book, said Molly. Go ahead, Pinkalicious, read them another one. Okay, I said. Why do birds fly south in the winter? Why, said Alex, Molly, and Allison. Because it's too far to walk, I said. <laughs> they think that's funny. We giggled until our tummies hurt. I told them another joke and another. Soon everyone was listening to us. Pinkalicious, you're hilarious, one kid said laughing. No, she's not, said Tiffany, who was listening the whole time. Anyone can be funny if they're reading from a book. I bet Pinkalicious doesn't have a real funny bone in her body. I don't think Tiffany's very nice. I do too, I shouted, my cheeks turning pink with anger. Prove it, said Tiffany. She challenged me to a laugh off for the next day. You can tell any joke you want, but you have to make it up yourself, she said. I wasn't sure I could think of a joke as good as the ones in my book, but I agreed. Everyone was watching. What else could I do? That night, I told my family about my dilemma. I need to create a joke that's fizzier than pink lemonade, more fun than pink cupcakes, more pinktastic than pink. I said, it has to be the most pinkerifically funny joke of all time. Hey, Pinkalicious, I have a joke, said Peter. Knock, knock. Who's there? Pinky stinky underwear. Peter practically laughed himself right off the chair. Yuck, Peter, I said. Not funny. Not funny at all. I paced and pouted and panicked. I had to remind myself to calm down. Think, Pink, I said, and the answer will follow. In the middle of the night, I had an idea. Maybe, just maybe, it would be good enough to win. The next morning, I had trouble swallowing my cereal. My stomach felt funny all during school. Then at last, the big moment came. It's time for the laugh off. First up is Tiffany. Tiffany strutted up to the jungle gym. What's black and white and red all over, she said. An embarrassed zebra, said someone. No, Tiffany said. A sunbird skunk? No. What? A penguin who ate all the pink cupcakes. Everyone laughed. I was going to lose big time. I was next. I was worried. My joke had seemed funny in the middle of the night, but it didn't seem all that funny now. What if nobody gets it? What if nobody laughs? I thought. What's the matter, Pinkalicious, yelled Tiffany. Can't you be funny without your book? I walked over to the jungle gym. I looked at all the kids looking at me. My mouth felt dry. I swallowed. Oh, well, I thought, even if my joke isn't the best, at least everyone will know it's my own. What's even funnier than being tickled, I said. Being tickled pink, I cried. I tickled people until they laughed so hard their faces turned bright pink. Everyone was laughing, even Tiffany. Okay, Pinkalicious, she said. I guess you do have a funny bone after all. 
Thanks, I smiled with relief. I liked your joke too. After the laugh off, I returned the joke book to the library. Now that it was over, nothing seemed quite as funny as being tickled pink. That's a cute book.